The researchers had a group of well-trained athletes, squatting about double body weight, do an overreaching phase. After these five days of planned overreaching, they had the two-week taper. However, it turned out that this taper was completely unnecessary. They did not actually overreach. In fact, their strength improved during the five days of brutal squat training. All measures of recovery capacity were either stable or indeed improved. Squatting and pulling strength both went up instead of down. So the planned overreaching phase actually turned into a highly productive training week. Yet this didn't stop the trainees from actually feeling like they were overreaching. Perceived recovery status tanked by 11% during the training phase. And it took almost two full weeks before they felt recovered again. How recovered you feel can be very different from how recovered your muscles actually are. But one study found that even in powerlifters and very well-trained athletes, athletes could not predict based on their subjective recovery status what their performance that they would be. And another study looked at using perceived recovery status as a tool to change training volume on a day-to-day -day basis. So basically the lifters were allowed to add or subtract up to two sets of their training training volume. They made no better gains than a group that just did the fixed training volume every day. Using metrics like strength to determine if you are recovered is a much more reliable metric than just basing it on how you feel.